All right, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, ratio tables and what they are, how they were related to actual ratios, and, and uh, how they relate to proportions. Okay, well, if we have the story to go on a field trip, we need a ratio of two adults for every 10 kids. Well, that's a ratio question or a statement, and a ratio might look like 2 to 10. Or the ratio in this story might be 2 to 10. But for today, right now, I'm going to mostly focus on the fraction, writing this ratio as a fraction. So we get the ratio 2 to 10. Now, that is the ratio, but it's not the only ratio because ratios, we know, can be reduced to smaller numbers. And ratios can be renamed or scaled up to larger numbers. And they're still equivalent ratios. They just look different. For example, 2 to 10 is a ratio that can be simplified or reduced to 1 to 5. And these two ratios look different, but they're actually equivalent. They're this, it's kind of like saying the same thing. And then, man, we can, there's an infinite number of ratios that are all equivalent to 2 to 10. Uh, 2 to 10, 1 to 5, in no particular order. We can do like 4. We could do... 4 to 20, and uh, we could do another one. Oh, heck, we could do 9. We could do uh, 9 to 45. Okay, so all of these ratios are equivalent to each other. So how do we know? Well, we can, we can uh, like, look for uh, relationships. For example, 2 to 10. Well, if you take that and divide by 1, which is really to say divide by 2 over 2, you get 1 fifth. 1 to 5. And now how do we go from 1 to 5 to 4 to 20? Well, we could take the ratio 1 to 5, we can multiply by 1. But that 1 is going to look like 4 over 4. And all of a sudden we get the ratio 4 to 20 because 1 times 4 is 4, 5 times 4 is 20. Similarly, we can show that 9 to 45 belongs in this list because we can multiply 1 fifth, or the ratio 1 to 5, by uh, 9 over 9. So 1 times 9 gives us 9, and 5 times 9 gives us 45. So we see that all of these ratios belong. Now, this video is about ratio tables because we're going to take this information that we already believe in, we already understand, and now we're going to put it in a table. So we're going to talk about adults and kids. And then we can just take these ratios and put them in this table. So you have two adults, 10 kids. We have one adult, five kids. We have four adults, 20 kids. And we have nine adults and 45 kids. So this information is just being rewritten into a table. So this table, a collection of equal ratios or a collection of equivalent ratios is called a proportion. So when you have proportion, when you have a collection of equivalent ratios, you have a proportion. And so this table is a ratio table. It's a collection of equivalent ratios. So this table is proportional. It represents a a proportion. It's a collection of equivalent ratios. And uh, we can see all of the same patterns over here. We can see that, oh, to go from 2 down to here, you divide by 2. And that's how we get 1 to 5. We can see that going from 1 to 9 and 5 to 45, we could say, oh, you just take that original ratio and multiply by 9 over 9. 1 times 9 is 9. 5 times 9 is 45. But by writing it this way, we kind of might be able to see a new pattern that doesn't show up really obviously over here. And the new pattern is this horizontal relationship. 2 times 5 equals 10. 1 times 5 equals 20. 4 times 5. 9 times 5. And a horizontal relationship will always show up in a proportional table. It's not always a nice convenient number like 5. Sometimes it's a fraction or a decimal.
but there is always going to be a horizontal relationship between the left column and the right column. So why do, why do we care? Well, what if we have 75 kids and we need to know how many adults need to come along on this field trip? Well, there's a lot of different ways to get this answer. One way to get it is to use this green horizontal pattern. Something times 5 is going to equal 75. Using a little bit of division, we get 75 divided by 5 is equal to 15. So we know that we need 15 adults to come on this field trip. 